hello YouTube, once again No Show is back with another action figure for you guys. And today I'm gonna review the Marvel Knights um, Daredevil from Daredevil TV series. Um, this is the Marvel Legends version as you can see right there. So let's get on with the review. Actually, before I get on with the review, I just want to say that um, it's a really cool figure and I'm really happy that I bought it. Because uh, I am I was having a lot of fun with the, of posing this figure. And let's start with the review. Here we've got the packaging. We've got the standard Marvel Legends packaging. Clear window in the front. On the top it says Legend Series. and the bottom it says Marvel Daredevil. Daredevil. On top of the box we have for DD and Blue Figure Man thing. Nothing too interesting in the bottom of the box. Here's the one side of the box. It has a really nice picture of Daredevil. And this side also has the same picture. On the back we have an action figure shot and other figures from this way plus a read-up now the read-up says blinded as a young boy and imbued with extraordinary senses matt murdoch fights injustice by day as a lawyer and by night as a superhero daredevil and here is an image of the figure itself now what i love about uh what i actually hate about uh marvel legends is that the promotional shots are different than the figure itself as you can see uh, probably that um, this has a more glossy finish to it whereas this has a uh, texture finish to it and this also has a brighter red and a glossier helmet and I would have liked that one instead th that color instead of this color but this color also looks good um, overall a really nice piece so that's it for the box. Now let's get on with the rest of the review. Now guys, if you ever actually notice, you will see that Marvel Legends provides a really nice backdrop piece within the box itself. And now this one represents the world as Daredevil sees it, because he's blind. And everything he does is by his hearing senses, and he sees practically everything he sees is red. But he can make out the different textures and whatever. So this is a really cool thing that you can actually put him and take pictures of him like that. That looks sick. Now, for the figure itself, I think that Marvel Legends has done a great job with this piece. And um, the head sculpt actually looks like the actor the charlie cox i think it was um the head sculpt looks pretty decent uh one thing i would have wanted is more more of a beard on the face of the figure and uh the eyes are kind of a goldenish hue i'll just adjust the lighting bit so that you can see it eyes are a bit goldenish hue uh, as you can see right there it's not perfectly red, but red is mixed in there. Let me see if I can give you a more closer look. Yeah, so as you can see, red is mixed in there, but it's not as good um, as it was in the prom promotional pictures. Now, I like the shade of red. Um, and the texturing on this figure is actually pretty cool. Uh, and here we have the body armor figure. It looks actually pretty nice. I don't know why, but actually, in reality, I'm seeing a really maroonish kind of a hue of, in the figure. But you guys are seeing a reddish hue through my uh, camera. And whatever, man. Um... As you can see we get the belt buckles, silver painted, and we get silver tidbits right here. Pretty nice looking paint job. Just light it for you guys. Pretty nice looking paint job. Now, people say that this is a mixture of the costume from season 1 and season 2. And I actually love that because uh, it just gives a feeling of the whole Daredevil theme uh, for the figure 
and you don't have to buy two figures for two seasons and that's actually pretty cool so th this figure does come with a few accessories also um i have a kind of a smudge here um i think it's like someone has picked it off with an exact knife by mistake it's not on this side but it is on this side i hope you can tell the difference here the holster for the batons here are the knee pads and the shin guards whatever they're called here are the boots just let me focus them for you yeah. so here are the boots and they look good and i actually like these boots because they do give a new point of articulation for marvel legends which i will show on later in the review and here's the back of the figure just the daredevil butt and daredevil code there's the back of his legs so pretty uh pretty damn good uh paint job with this figure and detailing and sculpting is also nice i'm not denying that uh it's a really good figure because it is and thank god i bought it thank god uh, and it does come with a few accessories taking a look at those we have the baton holding hands uh, or i'm sorry the uh fisted hands let me focus them for you yeah so these are fisted hands and they actually look pretty good no problem in them as i am seeing um we have the knuckles right there total black no, uh, I mean, really exciting sculpt detail in there. Then we have these baton holding hands and the batons, which are actually really cool. Let me just take them out and show them to you. These are made of a sh uh, yeah, soft plastic, and they are really difficult to put in the holster, holster but um, once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to do it pretty easily. And uh, you can connect them together so that they make kind of a longer baton or staff kind of a thing and uh, i like the color on these too overall um nice accessories and obviously we get the head sculpt for the man thing and this figure looks like uh, this head sculpt looks like the figure is gonna be awesome but i'm not gonna um be able to complete it as I don't collect Marvel Legends that is in a whole wave unless it's gonna be for Infinity War. Maybe I will then. And this actually looks pretty cool. I will probably sell it off on eBay or something like that in a lot. Um, and I I love this figure to be uh, really you know fair with marvel legends they are a really nice company actually has with the company with some company and they actually make pretty nice figures for the 20 dollar range so let's get moving on shall we now for the articulation on this figure the head moves up about that much then it does move down all the way you can swivel it side to side no head wobblage Arms rotate all the way around, they move outwards about 90 degrees, we get bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and I did get mine a teensy bit warped, as you might be able to see right there. And that's not much of a problem bit for me. Swivel in the wrists, hinge of the wrists, ab crunch goes forward about that much. Nice ratchety ab crunch, I must say. Forward about that much, back about that much. We have a waist hole, legs kick forward about 90 degrees. Uh, actually, less than 90 degrees. I'm gonna say about 80 degrees, something like that. 10 degrees to the back, outwards, I'm gonna say about 60 degrees. Then we do have an upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, and the ankles, they do move down. They move up, we have ankle pivot, and the new point of articulation, a swivel that is connected, uh, the joint is connected to this piece uh, in a different kind of way. So we didn't get swivel before, 
but we do get swivel now. So super articulation of this piece better than most Marvel Legends because of the ankle swivel. And let's keep moving on. Now for the height of this figure, it looks like the figure is standing right at about 16 centimeters tall, which makes it about six and a quarter or six and a half centimeters tall, I mean inches tall. And here it is compared to the Marvel Legends Vision. And this is a really good height difference. I thought that the figure would be around the same height as Vision or a tad bit smaller, which he actually is. And that is really cool. And here it is compared to the NECA Nathan Drake Ultimate Edition figure. And uh, for a 7 inch figure, I think this is a good height difference. About an uh, inch of a height difference between these figures. And here it is next to the DC Mattel Basic Cyborg, which I recently reviewed. So if you want to see that video, you can go to my channel on YouTube and please subscribe to it. So, moving on with the review and here's the figure in a dynamic pose and my overall thoughts on this figure is uh, that it's really cool if you see it at a local retail store like walmart or hamley's whatever you definitely need to buy this figure this and the punisher i guess uh, if you have that kind of budget if you have a single twenty dollar budget um then you definitely gotta buy this figure so thank you for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe and like and comment what you liked about this video. Plus, plus, I do have a surprise for you guys. I am doing a giveaway on a Rubik's Cube. So if you want to get this Rubik's Cube for yourself, you gotta like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And the winner will be posted um, the Rubik's Cube um, as soon as the giveaway results are here. So I'm probably gonna give the results uh, like in like next week or next to next week because my exams are really close. So I will see you guys later, I guess. Sayonara, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to win this Rubik's Cube!